The year is 1961. The Cold War has reached its peak, and the arms race between the United States and the Soviet Union is heating up. The Soviet Union seeks to standardize and simplify its military armament. They need to supply their troops with small arms that can be universally used by anyone within the Soviet military. But there's a problem. Many Soviet small arms differentiate themselves from each other and do not share many similarities. So they turn to Mikhail Kalashnikov's bread and butter to be the benchmark for all future Soviet firearms. And a new Kalashnikov family is born in the RPK. The RPK is a select fire gas operated light machine gun. It served as the Soviet light machine gun of choice. Therefore, it sports a heavy 1.5 mm stamped receiver and a long heavy barrel in order to handle the large volume of automatic fire. The RPK comes with a foldable bipod for stability for long bursts of fire. And the RPK features the exact same ergonomics and field strip as the AKM assault rifle. The RPK has taken many forms over the years and has taken on many different calibers as well. The RPK-74 is a perfect example of this. With the adoption of the 545x39 round in 1974, caused the RPK to change its shape. Without sacrificing reliability, the RPK-74 keeps all the same features as its predecessor, but allows a soldier to take full advantage of the high-speed 545 round. The RPK-74 still serves today as the squad automatic weapon of choice the Russian Armed Forces. The RPK has been in service with Eastern Bloc nations for over 50 years. It continues to be modified and changed to keep up with the demands of combat. The sheer dependability of the RPK is what makes it stand out within the Kalashnikov family. This LMG refuses to die and go away, even in the face of other more modern designs. Its simplicity, reliability, and effective nature makes it a formidable opponent for anyone on the end of its muzzle, and it will continue to be the LMG of choice for many military forces for many years to come. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what AK variant you would like to see in the future.